In this quick lesson from the MacU.com, we're going to do an overview of one of my favorite iOS apps, Gaia GPS. If you enjoy outdoor activities like hiking, biking, camping, overlanding, hunting, etc., Gaia GPS can be a great tool. It provides a ton of different, highly detailed maps that can be downloaded for offline use. Let's jump right into an area of the Sawtooth Wilderness in Idaho. Currently, we're looking at the base Gaia Topo map. If you download Gaia GPS, this is the map that you can use with a free account. This is a pretty good map. It's topographic, shows the trails and other landmarks like campgrounds and mountain peaks. Tap on the Info button here in the lower right for a map legend. Tap on the Layers button in the upper right and we can add map layers. Currently I have the base map and a U.S. Forest Service map active, but the Forest Service map is turned off. This slider represents the map's opacity. Boost it all the way up and it's going to cover up the base map. Problem is this one doesn't show the trails. Reduce the opacity of the Forest Service map and the trails on the base map will show through. But we can do a lot better than that with a different map. So I'm going to deactivate the 2016 Forest Service map by tapping the red X here. Then we'll add the Nat Geo Trails illustrated map. This has a lot more details and information. Notice we even have mileages marked on the trails from point to point. So this would be a great map to have for a hike in the Sawtooths. Notice if I zoom out though, the Nat Geo map only covers the Sawtooth Wilderness. So it's good to keep the base map active. It's a worldwide map. The problem with most map apps on an iPhone is that the maps can't be downloaded and saved to the device. So in locations like the Sawtooth that are far removed from any cell service, a typical Maps app does no good. With Gaia GPS, I just need to tap the Add button and then Download Maps to solve that. This red box will download the area that I need. Just tap and drag to expand it. If I'm planning a hike to Upper Kramer Lake from Redfish Lake, I won't need a very big area. Notice that the zoom level of the map and how much storage space the download will need in megabytes is displayed above. If I'm planning a longer backpacking trip, say all the way down to the Queens River Trailhead, I can expand the downloaded area. In this case, that still is only around about 50 megabytes. If I were to want to attempt this hike early in the season, I'd also want to turn on the Snow Depth Map Layer. Dial back the opacity of this, and it overlays nicely on the Nat Geo and Base Map Layers. Zoom out, and we can see the current snow cover here in the United States. The sawtooths are still covered in pinks and purples, which means there's probably around 100 inches of snow up there. So let's download this map. I'll give the map a name and save it. Tap on the spinning icon here to view the download progress. Notice that both map layers that I have active are downloaded. Once that's complete, we can jump into the Save tab and then Maps to see our downloaded maps. Notice that these can be pretty large downloads if you need a large area, like I did for some backcountry drives in Death Valley. Once you're finished using the downloaded maps, they can be removed from your device to save storage space. Once you have maps downloaded, you can then track your route over them with the record button here. Finished tracks are also available in the saved folder.
Here's a hike that I did a few days ago. The route is displayed in detail over the map and also saved are photos taken along the way, as well as other data like distance, elevation, and speed. So that's a quick overview of Gaia GPS. If you'd like more lessons on this app, please let me know in the comments below or with an email to info at the macu.com. Gaia GPS is a free download, but to access other map layers and to download any maps, you need a membership. Follow the links below this video or go to the macu.com slash Gaia for a significant discount. The five-year membership options are a particularly good deal. Even if you're only going to use the app a couple times a year, it's still well worth it. Thanks for watching.